Hello everyone, my name is Lorena Kelly and I'm the Executive Director of Elementary Teaching and Learning and I'm here today to read Chapter 13, Telling Dad of L. Ray Jakes is Magic. Telling Dad that I decided I wanted to drop out of Oak Glen's talent show is going to be hard. He and my mom are probably still celebrating because they're so amazed I got in. They like to hang out in the family room after dinner, even though they don't watch much TV. In fact, they do different things. Usually, Dad reads a lot of, because college geology professors have lots of stuff to wade through, as he puts it. Mom likes to watch TV shows and movies on her tablet, but she wears earbuds so the noise won't bother my dad. At least they're together in the same room. My mom says when I ask why they don't just do the stuff they like in different places, I hate earbuds. They make my ear holes hot and sore. I really want cool headphones. See, that's what I should say on my page of Miss Sanchez's wedding shower book. Watch out, because getting married means you'll never get to do exactly what you want the way you want ever again. Instead, I'll have to make something nice up. I don't want to make Miss Sanchez sad on her wedding shower day. I am never getting married. What if the lady I married didn't like my favorite video game? What then? I won't give up my game just for you, whoever you are. Hi, honey, mom says, spotting me standing in the doorway, watching them. Did you manage to talk some sense into your sister? Mm-hmm, I said, nodding. She's better, I think. I showed her how the tricks work so she doesn't think that I have magical powers anymore. I leave out the part about paying her off with the coins because mom and dad would not approve of that. But I still think it was a good idea. Good, Dad says, smiling as he looks up from his book. Maybe things will get back to what passes as normal around here. Alfie's going to sleep in the dark again, I tell them. Only not tonight. Well, baby steps are better than no steps at all, my dad says, shrugging. But speaking of magic, I say, before he can dive back into his book, can I talk to you about something important? I mean, may I? Because my dad is going to hear about it. If the principal lets me drop out of the show, he and mom might even have been planning to come watch. So I better tell him now and get it over with. He's the one who taught me the illusions. In my office? Dad asks, tilting his head. Sure, I say. At least mom will be able to listen to her show for a while without those earbuds ruining the whole thing. What's up, son? Dad asks after we sit down. It's about the talent show, I say. Staring down at my bony knees, I think I have to drop out. My tricks are too small for a whole assembly to see. I'm going to tell the principal tomorrow. I just wanted to let you know. Hmm, stage fright? My dad asks, frowning. No, I say, shaking my head. And those illusions were good, but like I said, they were meant for just a few people at a time, not a whole auditorium full. I was wondering about that, Dad admits. I knew they'd get you through the tryouts, but, but they won't for the work for the real show, I finish, since he was stopping talking. I would, look at, I would look like a fool, and all the big kids would laugh at me or boo me off stage. My reputation would be ruined, and I have three more years at Oak Glen. You're exaggerating, Dad says, using the calm, reasonable voice that usually means I've already lost the argument. I'm not exaggerating, I tell him. It would be like, like I was some weirdo meteorite from outer space that didn't fit in. I say this trying to explain in a way he can understand. You know, I add, when all the other kids were normal earth rocks and I just barely fit in now. Wait, what? You feel like you don't fit in at Oak Glen? My dad asks, a concerned look on his face. There's a new sharp note in his voice. He thinks I'm talking about being one of the few kids with brown skin at my school. He can get real touchy about stuff like that. This is exactly the kind of thing he worries about. We're going way past magic tricks here. I have to get us back on track and fast. I've been an okay, I assure him, but I won't if I'm forced to make a fool out of myself. So why did they ask you to be in the show? Dad asks, frowning. That's what I can't figure out, I say, the words almost falling out of my mouth. Because like I said, nobody will be able to see what I'm doing. I guess it's because I was the only one in the show. The only one? My dad asks, his voice tight again. The only magician, I can tell him as, as calmly as I can. Geesh. 
But you like doing magic, he says, like he's trying to get something straight in my brain. Yes, I say, more than I thought I would. And I like, and like I said, those tricks are good tricks too, I add, since he was the one who found them and taught me how to do them. But not in front of the whole school at once. So you wouldn't mind being in a show if you had bigger, better tricks, he says, still figuring it out. But I don't, I say, and the show is this Friday afternoon. Want me to talk to the principal for you, Dad asks. Explain things. No thanks, I say. I'd better do it myself. Tomorrow morning. He'll understand. Maybe. But the last thing I need is my dad making a big deal out of this. Are you disappointed? I ask him, even though the question makes me feel kind of shy. You know that I won't be in the show? Not at all, son. Dad says, giving me a smile. Because you would be stepping aside for a logical reason. Not because you were scared. He still sounds proud of me. I'd be a little scared even if everything went right, I admit. That's only natural, my dad says, smiling again. In fact, stage fright is probably the mark of a great performer. I think about it for a second. I wouldn't say those tricks were great exactly, I finally tell him, trying to be honest, or that I'm such an amazing magician. Not yet, anyway. Dad nods his agreement. These things take time, El Ray, he says. That and the right equipment and a whole lot of practice. So, you'll tell mom what I decided? I ask, looking at my knees again. I hate the thought of disappointing my mom more than just about anything. I'll take care of it, dad says. Why don't you go on upstairs and jump in the shower? I have a few things to take care of in here and then I'll come up and tuck you and Alfie in. But don't say anything to Alfie about leaving the lights on, I remind him, because I think she needs at least one more night before she backs down. Got it, my dad says with one quick nod. See, I do listen to you, son. Now scoot, and I scoot. I can't wait to hear what happens in the next chapter of Al Ray Jakes' Magic. Thank you for listening.